front of it. I'm already in my cube and I see his son come and somebody gave him a roll of tissue. And he had put the whole roll of tissue on the back of his head to soak up the blood from where I had stabbed him at. You know what I'm saying? And by this time, they had turned the lights on and all of the police was rushing in there, running to the back of the unit where all of the, 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 the drama was going. And I seen- What was the racial climate uh, like? Like this climate here, you gotta remember, this is the climate wherein the bloods basically just start forming, really. So it was kind of like, on the island, it was kind of like rocking. You know what I'm saying? So dudes was coming up really with this really distaste in their mouth for 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 the bloods. What what year was this? This is like ninety four. Like ninety four, ninety five. So you said the racial climate was thick in the jail? Yeah, that central. <laughs> you feel me? Oh, it yeah. was like net that central. Say there was um eighteen hundred people in the prison. At least twelve hundred of them was yet <laughs> Nah, you 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 exaggerate. Nah, yo, I'm just telling nah. you that's nah. I'm maybe five, maybe that's, no, maybe three hundred. But that's what it felt like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's what it felt like. It felt like every other person there was a net <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's what it was like. Net that sent you, bro. I'm telling you, bro. The ratio probably wasn't that much, but they had a good, you know what I'm saying? Majority of the people that was organized and unified. Their, un their organization was so larger, larger compared to all of the other organization and unified bodies. It was so larger that it seemed like the ratio was that much. You feel me? Like, that's like saying, like, I beat up a dude, you know what I'm saying, viciously bad, because I beat people up viciously bad, and they come back to me like, yo, I got beat up by 10 dudes. You know what I'm saying? It's like the ratio is so great. Like, it's just exaggerated. Like, you didn't get beat up by 10 dudes, you know, you got beat up by murder, bro. You lying. <laughs> you like, no, okay. I'll, for real, I'll make him look like he got hit by a bus or something. <laughs> That'd be crazy, right? Boy, it's some good smoke, though, right? Um, so, so, when you got there, like, what, what, oh. what was it that, like, before the riot popped off, did, did you feel like something was eventually going to pop off in that jail anyway? So, what it was? It was Nietas versus the guards or something? Nah, it wasn't Yetas. It started off as Yetas versus the West Indians. They got into it with the West Indians over what? Over a soccer game. Mm. Over a soccer game. We was up there and, um, you know, I used to kind of flex with the West Indians or whatever. And, um, you know, so I was up there with them and we was playing against the, um, the Yetas in the soccer game. Like, you know what I'm saying? In the soccer game. So as we were playing soccer, um, I guess somebody did. I was I was actually playing. I was playing the goalie. I was the goalie, and um, dudes um, didn't like. We was up like three love, and dudes didn't like a call or whatever. And one of the refs that was refing was um, was an old dude with a netta, and one of the dudes that was on the bench was on the bench over by our, our bench. Um, I had got into it with him over a call and he was telling so he walked up to him and told him like yo um you blow the whistle like like you trying to you, you be something about the call here yeah, take the whistle like try to give him the whistle in his face like you blow the whistle like you know what i'm saying so he tried to give him the whistle he took the whistle and threw it on the ground so all so he started going towards each other and everybody grabbed him up you know what i'm saying mm. but when they did that the game was over you feel what I'm saying? So then dudes walked down the hill off of the soccer court to a, over there to like, like lose some benches or whatever was over there, over there by the hill. And when they went over there, um, dudes started talking. Next thing you know, dudes started pushing and shoving each other. They got like kind of too close when dudes started pushing and shoving. And then when they did all of that, dudes started grabbing each other again. And the police came over there and all they seen was a lot of pushing and shoving. So they didn't know what happened. Somebody got stabbed or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So they grabbed me up <laughs> and two old um, Spanish dudes or two of the old Yenta dudes. And they took us to um, to, to medical. They took us first, they took us down and um, what's the name, and searched us in the school building because it's kind of next to the yard in Oneida and um, the big yard. Like, So then they took us to like medical. And at that time, medical was like in a trailer. And we was up in there because they wanted to, um, 
do us a body search, like strip us down to make sure we didn't have no wounds or nothing on us. Like I told you, they wasn't sure if somebody got stabbed over there, whatever. So when they took us in there, we were in the medical next thing when we came out, they um we were going they they wanted to let us out, kept us there for a little while question us it wasn't nothing and then he was like all right we just let y'all go it wasn't nothing they let us go like they said just go back to your units or whatever so i'm like cool they kicking us out the yard we ain't, it ain't nothing we ain't getting no shot we ain't doing nothing you know we ain't getting no ticket so i was on my way back to the unit down a long um dark <laughs> pathway and when i was about to turn the corner like to go to my unit uh i hear people running down the, down the walkway mad feet and people running so i'm like what the heck going on the dude turned the corner it's a white boy that's in my unit named jimmy a little white boy jimmy was like yo yo I'm like what's going on he said the jamaicans is on fighting with the neck guys I'm like well it's like yeah the jamaicans is fighting the neck guys so i'm like all right so everybody running on the thing you hear all police running out there you know they sound they already sound the alarm or whatever so after that, get to the unit, everybody already hear what happened. They wound up, they, they, they say the story is that after we had went to the, um, to the, to the thing, to the, um, to the medical or whatever, dudes thought that we had, that was it, they had took us or whatever. So dudes, like, they ready to pop off or whatever. So, one little Jamaican dude wound up cutting, um, one of the yet guys just started from there and they just started fighting, they all just started fighting out there. And was cutting people like whatever they like Jamaican dudes running around cutting dudes like yo Rungo Clinic cutting that Rungo Clinic it's like getting wild or whatever right so um they wind up um saying it was it just popped off or whatever so dudes already know what's gonna go down because like I said Nietas had the um, biggest organization and the largest numbers on that compound so we already know it was going down let me show you I get back to the unit. So when I get in the unit, it's super tension. Cause there was already big alarm on there, everybody in the unit. You know, super tension is so thick, you can cut it, you know what I'm saying? With a knife. So I go to the West Indian dudes that I know in there. A man, two guns, and a couple of other Jamaican Trini dudes that was in the unit, right? And I went to them and I told them, listen. It done popped off. Y'all already know what it is. It's going down in the morning. But me, I ain't waiting for no beef. We popping off tonight when the lights go off. So they was like, all right. I said, make sure you got your stuff packed because it's going down. So I went to my man Leslie. He ain't Jamaican or nothing, but this is my man. He from Rochester. And I'm like, yo, son, what you doing? You rocking? He's like, son, I'm rocking. I said, that's what it is. So then Latin King dude came to me was like, yo, let me holler at you. I'm like, what's up? He's like, yo, we don't got nothing to do with it. I said, huh? He said, we ain't got nothing to do with it. He said, when we just got, cause they had just got into it with the Muslims not too long ago. And the um, that guy, they come to their assistance. And you know, they supposed to have this little, you know, whatever, bond with them or whatever. So they didn't come to their assistance. So they like, yo, we don't got nothing to do with it. So I'm like, all right, cool. Just stay out of it. <laughs> you feel me? So. That was that. So now, at night time, everybody got their stuff packed. Whatever, everybody got their artillery, whatever they got. You already know I got something because that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? So I got my joint and we go in the bathroom, which is in the back of the unit, right? And the front is an officer station. It's the officer station, but you got to go out the doors to go to the officer station. And then there's just the unit in the bathroom that's in the back of the which, unit. Which, which dorm was this in Oneida? Which which joint? I can't. I, I can't even remember. I think I was in I. I think I was in I, I building. I can't remember the dorm, but it was across. It was the dorm that's actually across the um, road, right across from the projects. Like if anybody was in Oneida, they know where the projects at. They tell you. They listen to this. They'll tell you like yeah, the dorm that's right across from um um the projects. Dorm is kind of like a trail because you know they had like a lot of trailer looking dorms there too. You know what I'm saying? So it kind of looked like kind of like you know, those small trailer like house. So you know what I'm saying? Because there's a one level dorm, you know what I'm hmm. saying? Like that. So, um, we is in there. So now, um, at nighttime, we go, we up in the bathroom plotting. There's like four of us in there. I think it's me, it's Trini, um, two guns, um, 
my man Leslie and me, we in there, and I'm telling them like, yo, listen, this is what we gonna do. I'm telling them like, yo, when dudes get in their beds and all of that, right after count, by the end of their beds, you just gonna go grab them in their beds and start stabbing them. You know what I'm saying? That shit don't get them out of their beds after the lights go out, you feel me? So everybody pick one, throw a bed they in, and that's the one you get, you feel me? Like that, so we in there plotting. So while we in there plotting, Little yet that dude who up up in there, right? My little man too. Yeah, yet that dude, he from the Bronx, Dominican dude. And I was kind of bad too. I was kind of bad because me and son was super cool. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. Me and son was super cool. He slept right like two two beds like in the middle row. And I'm against the wall, like two beds across from me. You know what I'm saying? He was in a single single cube, and I was in the like a, a single cube. Yeah, we both had single cube. He was right across. Yeah, man, it was crazy, bro. Right, but um, he came in the bathroom and he was um, kind of like trying to air hustle. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, while he was there, we was talking like, yo, right there. I said, yo, you know, son is a, uh, you know, son and yet that too. He's like, yeah, like yeah. So my son snuffed him right there. Boom! So my son snuffed him. I grabbed him by the back of the neck and um, pushed him into the sink. Right, and I got him by the back of the neck and had his head in the sink. Because my knife was in my already in my pocket, and I took it and I stabbed him in the back of the head. Boom! And lifted him out by the sink and door. And when I did that, I ran out the bathroom to my to my cube. And when I did that, some of them start grabbing the They just said whatever. They just start grabbing dudes about they what's the name out the um beds and start going to work. So they working in the back. Everybody tripping. And I'm in front of it. I'm already in my cube. And I see son come and somebody gave him a roll of tissue. And he had put the whole roll of tissue on the back of his head to soak up the blood from where I had stabbed him at. You know what I'm saying? And by this time, they had turned the lights on and all of the police was rushing in there, running to the back of the unit where all of the, 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 the drama was going. And I seen Son in his cube about the Dominican man that I had just stabbed. And I ran over there to him and I stabbed him again in the top of the head this time. You know what I'm saying? Like he was putting the tissue on the um, other one. But I was kind of mad because, like I said, some was like my man. You know what I'm saying? But you know how it goes. You know what I'm saying? And um, so after I stabbed him, um, I went to um, I went back to my um, to my cube and passed off the um, the hammer and um, went and was like making sure that nothing was on my hand, like no blood on my hands and all of that. So then after that, he was already in the back. They grabbed everybody up, came and grabbed the son that I stabbed, grabbed everybody up and took all of my bands and I'm up out of there. It was all in the back. So I kind of slid through the thing. I had got away with it. Well, I thought I got away with it. And after they came, you know, they let, took everybody out that they thought was involved. Then they came and they um gave the hand search when they came to make everybody, you know, take off their shirts, spin around back in front of their hands, they shouldn't my head is swollen, got no blood on them or whatever. You know, I was shaking like a leaf. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They came and went. So I'm laying up in the bed. I'm like, yo, I know this thing gonna go crazy off in the morning. I already know it's going down. Hold on, so so they took something out of there and he, he didn't rat? No, nah, nobody ratted at that time. At that time or so I thought. But son that I stabbed, nah, son never ratted on me, but I still got the, I'm gonna tell you what happened. So now I'm in the unit, in the middle of the night, around four in the morning, they um, call, they come wake me up. I'm like, what's up? They like, yo, you need to come outside the unit, the um, lieutenant or sergeant, whoever's going to talk to you. So I'm like, I, I already knew it was going down. So I got up, went to outside the unit. There was the police out there, cuffed me up, put me in a little buggy, and drove me right to the shoe. You know what I'm saying? And I got a shot saying that um, that they received information from an unidentified information from an unidentified from a from a confidential reliable source seeing me with a weapon stab another inmate. You hear me? Mm-hmm. Get, no, listen, you gotta hear the way they wrote this shot, bro. Listen, man, you know, man, I be having like um like <laughs> I got like the luck of the Irish, right? Yo, bro, and wait, but you know, I'm into these shots because you know, I'm into you know, um, trying to win, right? Litigate, so, litigation, yeah, yeah, litigation. So, I'm into litigation, so I'm looking at the shot, and this ain't that uh, confidential. I hate the shot, 
he getting on the confidential vibe. We saw shots, always seeing me stab somebody. I be hating those, bro. But anyway, he said the confidential vibe. We saw us see me assault another inmate with a weapon. Never said the inmate name. They said they seen me saw another inmate with a weapon. I already know what inmate they talking about because son came, I seen son in the shoe. Son had a haircut. They had to cut his hair to give him the um, stitches and stuff in his hand. You know what I'm saying? It's mad because you know the Spanish King John, he got the nice hair. And what, they type had of, what type of bang it was? It was a pick or a flathead or what? No, the matter of fact, son, it was a Glock. It was a Glock, son. So you know how we used to call the Glock the plastic joints, the plastic thick joints that you put it, it's a, it's a, it's a flathead, but it's a Glock. Hmm. With a flippy, but it was a Glock. It was a plastic joint with a nice point on it. But you know, some of them joints you could put a nice round point on it. Hmm. If you get the sandpaper or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So that joint had a, a vicious point on it. And I remember some with a Glock before I had a super nice point on when I was in HDL and I had it in my shoe, son. And I'm telling you, that joint was so pointy. I stepped into my shoe. I was walking into my shoe, son. That joint poked, son. Almost that obvious, son. Poked a big hole in my foot, son. Hmm. For having the Glock H- in my foot. In HDL? Huh? Mm-hmm. HDM, I was well, what what you know, plastic? What type of plastic that was made from? Like a toothbrush or what? Nah, not made from like you know, like the plastic, like the plastic. Sometimes they be having like in the windows, it be super thick, or the plastic, like it be the super thick plastic. You know what I'm saying? Like they might have like for for windows somewhere, you know, a thick plastic. Oh yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. That thick plastic, that thick plastic that be like like a quarter inch thick, and and you can you you make like a flat head with it. You don't really make picks with it, you make flat heads with it. You know what I'm saying? You get it and you, and you shave it like a flat head. It'd be nice, like a little quarter inch thick, like, you know what I'm saying? The way you have a regular flat head. So yeah, yeah. You, said, you said they took you straight to the box? When I woke up the next morning, I looked out my window. I had a, I had this, this is my first time having a, a, a cell on the side where you could um, see on the compound. So I had a cell with window you could actually see on the compound. So. I'm looking out the window, son, and I'm telling you, everybody, oh, you hear mad noise. Everybody on their window, everybody in shoe wilding out. Look on the thing, son. It looked like the L.A. riot, son. Son, it looked like the L.A. riot. Oh, you what you mean? You was in a box and it popped off and you was you could see it out the out your window? I could see the whole thing out my window, son. Police running around with um, big, you know how they had the, the like the suitcases full of um, handcuffs? Thing, like the big thing with all the handcuffs in it, hmm. one of them that they just running around the whole comp. You saw it suddenly look crazy out there. This looked like the LA ride, so there's a big, it looked like you know how the deuce be looking crazy crowded, and you know that's how all night the walkways be super crowded. That's a a, 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 a very hot populated jail, man. And the, the walkways be super crowded in all night. Anybody that was an all nighter back in the 90s, they tell you that walkway be super crowded, bro. I, I was there, that shit is like a little city. Yeah, that's it's like like where commissary yeah. is at the package yeah. room. That shit's like a little yeah. city. Like you get lost in that motherfucker. Yeah, you get lost. You know what I'm saying? And that joint is big, so that's like a big comp. It's a lot of walking. You know what I'm saying? So and niggas was just running through the whole compound. The whole compound. The the the, 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 the what's the name? The um yet you know, and basically was was going at it with the blacks. It was no longer just about. So the, this, this was the this was the these fucking motorcycles, man. Yo, so this was. This was the next morning? The next morning, son. On an early rec run? Now, huh? Or just like on the program run? Yeah, on the oh, oh yeah, on the boat. Oh, it, it went off on breakfast run, son. It went off it, it went off on the breakfast the run? Program run, son. Breakfast, son. You already know. <laughs> and so they open the units. For the when they open the units, I call people for med, for med, medication and breakfast. We already call medical but dudes go get their insulin and all that stuff and you know call the dudes for breakfast. You crazy the first so when they open that thing, that was first the first move to come out the unit, it was gone, son. It was on. And hey, you said so you were seeing that shit from the box window, like niggas was just running through the whole the, the whole, whole car. Com- the whole car kinda looked like crazy, so I'm talking about it looked like there's a whole bunch of people fighting. I've never seen nothing like it, son. Like a whole bunch, like you see a big whole crowd, and it's everybody fighting each other. You feel what I'm saying, son? It's crazy. This shit crazy. You know, it and and crazy, so at this son. time, it had just spilled off the straight blacks versus Nietas, like. Yeah, but black versus the Spanish dudes. You know what I'm saying? The Nietas, and you know, that when it went down like that, but everybody just everything Spanish and you know everything black. It's like yo, you just gotta go for what you know. It's a race you riot. So it's, how long like, that shit was? How long that shit popped off for? Like, it was going on all morning. All I know is they took us 
and they start taking a lot, they start bringing mad people in the shoe and start taking all I know is that I wind up from the shoe wind up, I wind up in the dog on um in the gym they had me in the gym cuffed up with a whole bunch of people cuffed up they was there taking putting us on buses orange the orange crush came in the jail everything of course everything came in there son everything came in there they had yo son the whole jail was locked down son they had so much people locked up it's like half the jail was in handcuffs bro Man, was that the man? Listen, the whole gym was lined up with all of us in cuffs. He was just taking us, putting on buses, shipping us from, you know what I'm saying, shoe to shoe transfers. Everybody was going to a shoe in another spot. But they didn't have enough people. There was no way they was going to put anybody in that shoe. You know what I'm saying? They locked up half the You know what I'm saying? Probably a quarter of the compound. So, son, everybody was poked up, son. I swear, son. It's like everybody was poked up, son. Mm. That's crazy. Everybody was coming, I was running to my man's. I'm like, yo, show myself, you got anything I say, man, dudes had little stab wounds in their back, little stab wounds on their stomach or whatever. Like, it wasn't like, like flesh. Some dudes got stuff where they needed, like, medical attention, but a lot of dudes had superficial wounds. It was a lot of, like, dudes just stabbing up everything. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And dudes got poked up in them crowds, man. A lot of dudes that was coming through, man, had holes, and I'm like, dang, that gentleman's, it was all right, yo. It was all right. Was, I was kind of mad tech. I wasn't part of the. He was disappointed that you met. Yeah, you met. Huh? Your pop off was too early. You left yeah, the scene son, too early. Yeah, son. But I had to pop off, and I had to let dudes know because, son, I had to pop off to let dudes know it's going down. Because y'all gotta be. Because, son, I, I popped off because I wanted dudes to follow suit. Because that's what I said. When I pop off, hopefully, when they seen this, when they seen it was my unit that popped off, all of my mans in them gonna know, yo, to pop off because they know, okay, that's my murder unit. He popped off. Some popped off. No, ain't my popped off, bro. He, he, y'all better pop off too. Ain't popped off. So we better, because it's my unit. Because if you already know I'm in that unit, you know I popped off. You already know it has something to do with me, bro. You know I popped off. So. Dudes had to pop off, you know what I'm saying? So dudes didn't pop off right then, but dudes was already ready. You know, in the morning it was going down, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I was dudes didn't follow suit, but, you know, I was just, I'm mad because I wish I would have been on that compound in the morning, bro, because I was on that compound in the morning, I would have got some of the action, you know what I'm saying? And I was kind of mad that I missed out on the action, but son, I would have been like, son, I would have been like, a kid in the candy store. I'd have been running around with that hammer, son, just poking everything, bro. I'd have had so much fun, bro. But I was young. I was stupid. I'd have had super fun. You know what I mean? How, how old was you at this time, you think? It was like, uh, like 24, 25. I was a youngster. Youngster. I was a young kid. I was out of my mind. I was out of my mind, bro. I was out of my mind. We be saying Orleans, but it wasn't Orleans, it was Oneida. Oh, yo. I, was, I, was in, I was in Orleans, that's where I came to Hudson from. Because when I left that, from that ride and all of that, I went to Attica, from Attica to Wendy, from Wendy to um to um, Orleans, and from Orleans to Hudson, that's where we was together at, the Hudson. Because I was in Orleans with um guy and all of it, little guy Tony and my man, um what's the name was there, um, my man Ale and all of us was there, and what's the name had just left there, um, D-Rock was there. You know, D-Rock, um, Biggie, man, D-Rock was there, and, um, these all in, um, Orleans. And, um, I left there and came to Hudson. I wanna